Harriet Simon is a third grade teacher at the Bishop Strawn School in Toronto. She's a strong believer in Jump Math's underlying philosophy and has been actively using the program since she discovered it 12 years ago. One of the myths is that you're either born with a math gene or you're not. So you either have it or you don't. And what Jump Math has uncovered and shown is that everyone has the capabilities of becoming an excellent mathematician if you're taught properly. John Mighton, who struggled with math, created Jump Math as a new learning approach for himself. He developed a full curriculum for primary schools based on his method called guided discovery. John occasionally gives classroom demos to help teachers better understand the approach and use of the method. There's a lot of research now on the brain that says that a lot of kids are suffering from cognitive overload. They're being asked to do too many things at once. And so in guided discovery, we break the challenges into more manageable steps. And so we wrote very detailed teacher's guides for teachers that show them how to scaffold lessons into manageable steps and sensible steps so the kids can make the discoveries. I liked how John taught us how to find new, new patterns in multiplication tables like that I never knew. In guided discovery, steps are organized with one idea leading to the next. Children discover the mechanisms behind concepts by themselves and therefore understand them in greater depth without realizing they are being carefully guided. This incremental approach is also very helpful for the teachers. Sometimes kids just don't, they miss one little part and then they're lost. As a teacher, you can catch immediately where the problem is and rectify it so that it builds and so that every kid can be successful. The program includes regular assessment and the whole class can progress together despite different levels of understanding. Teachers spend plenty of time encouraging students to practice math with questions, challenges, and activities. They also provide constant feedback so that children see and enjoy their progress and gain confidence. This is clearly shown in the experiences of Dorothy Wang's third grade students at Rose Avenue Public School. The children think of math as a fun thing and um, they look forward to it. They think of it as a positive thing. And if I look uh, school-wide at our, all the, our grade three team, um, we've had excellent results using this program. Many schools achieve better results after adopting Jump Math. The first scientific study to measure its impact on learning outcomes was conducted by the Toronto Hospital for Sick Kids. Over a period of five months, 300 students received Jump Math instruction we found that the students who received that kind of instruction actually grew twice as much as children in the same grade over the same period of time on this set of measures. They get the experience of succeeding at learning, and that then motivates them to keep trying and motivates them to keep building on that knowledge. I think that's just a really good practice for learning in general. As Canadian schools adopt the program, Jump Math has reached 5% of the English-speaking student population from grade 1 to 8. In the next five years, it aims to reach 20%. With the global challenge of numeracy, Jump Math has begun expanding in Europe and in the United States.